welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about multiple intelligence by Howard Gardiner. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Brief biography of Howard Gardner. Howard Gardner was born on July 11, 1943, in Scranton, Pennsylvania. He described himself as a studious child who gained much pleasure from playing the piano. He completed his post-secondary education at Harvard, earning his undergraduate degree in 1965 and his PhD in 1971. While he had originally planned to study law, he was inspired to study developmental psychology by the works of Jean Piaget. He also cited the mentoring he received from the famous psychoanalyst Eric Erickson, as part of the reason why he set his sights on psychology. Gardner's theory has perhaps had the greatest impact within the field of education, where it has received considerable attention and use. His conceptualization of intelligence is more than a single, solitary quality has opened the doors for further research, and different ways of thinking about human intelligence. Gardner currently serves as the John H. and Elizabeth A. Hobbs Research Professor of Cognition and Education at the Harvard Graduate School of Education. He is also an adjunct professor of psychology at Harvard University and senior director of Harvard Project Zero. Howard Gardner's Awards 1981, MacArthur Prize Fellowship 1987, William James Book Award, American Psychological Association 1990, University of Louisville Grorimeyer Award in Education 2000, John S. Guggenheim Memorial Foundation Fellowship 2011, Prince of Asturias Award in Social Sciences Selected Publications Gardner, H. 1983, 2003. Learning styles in his 2013 book The App Generation, Gardner and co-author Katie Davis suggests that the theory of multiple intelligences has too often been conflated with the idea of learning styles. The two are not the same, Gardner explains, and uses a computer analogy to demonstrate the differences between the ideas. A word from very well Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences has had an important impact on how we think about human intelligence. Rather than simply focusing on a single measure of human cognitive ability, it can be helpful to consider all of the different mental strengths that an individual may possess. When you hear the word intelligence, the concept of IQ testing may immediately come to mind. Intelligence is often defined as our intellectual potential, something we are born with, something that can be measured, and a capacity that is difficult to change. In recent years, however, other views of intelligence have emerged. One such conception is the theory of multiple intelligences, proposed by Harvard psychologist Howard Gardner. To capture the full range of abilities and talents that people possess, Gardner theorizes that people do not have just an intellectual capacity, but have many kinds of intelligence, including musical, interpersonal, spatial visual and linguistic, while a person might be particularly strong in a specific area, such as musical intelligence, he or she most likely possesses a range of abilities. For example, an individual might be strong in verbal, musical, and naturalistic intelligence. Career and theories after spending time working with two very different groups, normal and gifted children, and brain-damaged adults, Gardner began developing a theory designed to synthesize his research and observations. In 1983, he published Frames of Mind which outlined his theory of multiple intelligences. He has since identified and described eight different kinds of intelligence. Number 1. Visual Spatial Intelligence. People who are strong in visual spatial intelligence are good at visualizing things. These individuals are often good with directions as well as maps, charts, videos, and pictures. Characteristics. People with visual spatial intelligence. Read and write for enjoyment are good at putting puzzles together interpret pictures, graphs, and charts well enjoy drawing, painting, and the visual arts recognize patterns easily potential career choices. If you're strong in visual spatial intelligence, good career choices for you are architect, artist, engineer. Number 2. Linguistic Verbal Intelligence. People who are strong in linguistic verbal intelligence can use words well, both when writing and speaking. These individuals are typically very good at writing stories, memorizing information, and reading. Characteristics People with linguistic verbal intelligence, remember written and spoken information enjoy reading and writing debate or give persuasive speeches can explain things well use humor, when telling stories potential career choices, if you're strong in linguistic verbal intelligence, good career choices for you are, writer, journalist, lawyer, teacher. Number 3. Logical Mathematical Intelligence. People who are strong in logical mathematical intelligence are good at reasoning, recognizing patterns, and logically analyzing problems. 
These individuals tend to think conceptually about numbers, relationships, and patterns. Characteristics People with logical mathematical intelligence have excellent problem-solving skills enjoy thinking about abstract ideas, like conducting scientific experiments can solve complex computations potential career choices, if you're strong in logical mathematical intelligence, good career choices for you are, scientist, mathematician, computer programmer, engineer, accountant. Number 4. Bodily Kinesthetic Intelligence Those who have high bodily kinesthetic intelligence are said to be good at body movement, performing actions, and physical control. People who are strong in this area tend to have excellent hand-eye coordination and dexterity. Characteristics People with bodily kinesthetic intelligence A skilled at dancing and sports enjoy creating things with his, or her hands have excellent physical coordination remember by doing, rather than hearing, or seeing potential career choices if you're strong in bodily kinesthetic intelligence, good career choices for you are, dancer, builder, sculptor, actor. Number 5. Musical Intelligence People who have strong musical intelligence are good at thinking in patterns, rhythms, and sounds. They have a strong appreciation for music and are often good at musical composition and performance. Characteristics Enjoy Singing and playing musical instruments recognize musical patterns, and tones easily remember songs and melodies have a rich understanding of musical structure, rhythm, and notes potential career choices if you're strong in musical intelligence, good career choices for you are, musician, composer, singer, music teacher, conductor. Number 6. Interpersonal Intelligence. Those who have strong interpersonal intelligence are good at understanding and interacting with other people. These individuals are skilled at assessing the emotions, motivations, desires, and intentions of those around them. Characteristics. Communicate well verbally are skilled, at nonverbal communication see situations from different perspectives create positive relationships with others, resolve conflicts in group settings potential career choices, if you're strong in interpersonal intelligence, good career choices for you are, psychologist, philosopher, counselor, salesperson, politician. Number 7. Intrapersonal Intelligence Individuals who are strong in intrapersonal intelligence are good at being aware of their emotional states, feelings, and motivations. They tend to enjoy self-reflection and analysis, including daydreaming, exploring relationships with others, and assessing their strengths. Characteristics People with Intrapersonal Intelligence Analyze their strengths and weaknesses well enjoy analyzing theories, and ideas have excellent self-awareness understand the basis for his or her motivations and feelings potential career choices, if you're strong in intrapersonal intelligence, good career choices for you are. Philosopher, writer, theorist, scientist. Number 8. Naturalistic Intelligence. Naturalistic is the most recent addition to Gardner's theory, and has been met with more resistance than his original seven bits of intelligence. According to Gardner, are more in tune with nature, and are often interested in nurturing, exploring the environment, and learning about other species. These individuals are said to be highly aware of even subtle changes to their environments. Strengths Finding Patterns and Relationships to Nature Characteristics People with Naturalistic Intelligence are interested in subjects such as botany, biology, and zoology categorize, and catalog information easily enjoy camping, gardening, hiking, and exploring the outdoors dislikes learning unfamiliar topics, that have no connection to nature potential career choices, if you're strong in naturalistic intelligence, good career choices for you are, biologist, conservationist, gardener, farmer. Despite this, the theory of multiple intelligences enjoys considerable popularity with educators. Many teachers utilize multiple intelligences in their teaching philosophies, and work to integrate Gardner's theory into the classroom. What do you think of our video? Which of the facts about multiple intelligence shocked you the most? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.